What's up everybody, Patrick here, welcome back. And moving on to the next question, for which value or values of x are the slopes of the tangents to f of x equals x plus one over x minus one and g of x equals x plus two over x minus two equal? So what values of x are the slopes of the tangents on these two functions equal? Well, another way to word that is what values of x are the derivatives? of this function and this function equal because the derivatives represent the slopes of the tangent. So what we can do is we can find the derivative of both of these. So let's start with uh, f of x. So f prime x would be the derivative of the top, let's use the quotient rule, times the bottom minus the derivative of the bottom, which is just one, times the top all over the bottom squared. And then if we simplify the top, we'll have x minus one, one times x minus one, it's just x minus one. And then we have this like negative one in front distributed inside the bracket, we'll have negative x, negative one, all over x minus one squared. Notice how the x's cancel out and this just simplifies to negative two over x minus one squared. So that's the derivative of f of x. What about g of x? Same thing. We're just gonna apply that quotient rule. So the derivative of the top is one times the bottom minus the derivative of the bottom, which is one times the top all over the bottom squared. And if you do the same thing we did here, simplify, distribute that negative inside that x plus two, the x's will cancel out and you'll be left with negative four up top over x minus two squared. And that's the derivative of g of x. So we got these two derivatives for f of x and g of x, and now all we have to do is make them equal and then solve for x. So we'll have negative two, over x minus one squared equals negative four over x minus two squared. Then to solve for these x values, we can just cross multiply. So we'll have um, negative two bracket x minus two squared equals negative four times x minus one squared. So this multiplied by that, this multiplied by that. And then we just have to solve. So what we do here is we foil out this bracket. When we do so, we'll end up with x squared minus four x plus four. And then we got to foil out x minus one squared as well. So we'll have x squared minus two x plus one. And then we just distribute, it just becomes an equation we solve now and then we distribute the negative four inside that bracket. So negative four x squared plus eight x um, minus four. So let's bring everything over to one side. Let's bring all of these terms over to the left side. So we'll have negative two x squared plus four x squared. Those are like terms. That would give us two x squared. Eight x minus eight x, those would cancel out. Then we'll have negative eight plus four which would give us negative four. And that's gonna equal zero. So we just basically have to solve this, which is pretty easy. What we can do is, um, actually since there's only an x squared, we don't even have to factor this. Let's just uh, bring the negative four back over. So we'll have positive four like that, divide both sides by two. Continuing this up here. So if we divide both sides by two, twos cancel out, we'll have x squared equals two. So the x is plus or minus root two, because the root of something can be plus or minus. So these are your two x values, plus root two, minus root two, for which the slopes of the tangents of both of these functions are equal. So you get a question like this, Find the derivative of f of x here, find the derivative of g of x here, make them equal, and then just solve for the x values where they equal, 
plus or minus root two is your answer. You should also take these and then plug them back into the originals to make sure that um, it's not one of the uh, vertical asymptotes. Notice that this function has a vertical asymptote at x equals one, and then this one has a vertical asymptote at x equals two, meaning that the derivative is undefined for those as well. But these two x values are neither of those, so both of those x values work. Those are your two answers.